Hello guys, and welcome to Matt's Beamer. Here's another video explaining how something works. This video is basically showing you how the gear shifter works on a modern BMW. Okay, I know to a lot of you it's pretty obvious, but for some it's confusing. For example, my friend who owns a 2019 Infiniti QX80 was totally confused and he couldn't figure out how to put the BMW E70 X5, which was in my last in-depth tour video, into reverse, hence why I'm making this video. Plus longtime viewer Matilda Ivanova asked me to make a video on this subject too. Before I go into details, I have many other BMW F Generation 1 series videos on my channel, including DIYs and videos similar to this one. I also do very in-depth tours on any cars I can get my hands on. So if this interests you, please click subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video. Anyway, BMW has been using this kind of gear shifter for years. I'm taking a wild guess that it came out in 2007 because the cars that I've seen with this type of gear shifter were the E70 X5 and the E60 5 series. Some of you may say, what's so special with this gear lever? Well, it's the first BMW lever to head away from the mechanical movement to a fully electronic system. If you want to see the difference between Sport, Comfort and Eco Pro, just click the link down below in the description box. Looking at the gear lever, you may think it's a work of art, as it's totally different from other cars I've seen of a similar age. The displays. Let's turn the ignition on. When looking at the lever, it's finished off in wonderful materials. The first thing you will notice though, is the black shiny area. There is a diagram on this area. This is where you are shown what gear you are in, by showing a green light next to the letter. P means park, R means reverse, N means neutral, D means drive, M is manual and S is for sport, plus and minus is for changing up and down the gears. There is also a display on the little screen underneath the speedo, which will also let you know what position the gear lever is in. If you are in manual mode, it will show you what gear you're in. The buttons. This gear lever has two buttons, a button on top with a P on it, which puts the car into park, and the button on the side is called unlock. This helps you shift out of park, and when shifting into reverse, just remember to put your foot on the brake. Now, let's start the car up with your foot on the brake. When starting the car up, you will see that the car is automatically in park. On the lever, you will see a green P. And on the dash, you will see a P there too. Before you change from park to reverse, or to put the car into reverse, you need to press down the brake, along with the button on the side. If you forget to press the button on the side, you will get this message. And if you forget to press the brake, you will get this message. To select neutral, you will need to put your foot on the brake and hold down the unlock button on the side. Then push the lever forward past the first point of resistance. You will know you are in neutral due to there being a light next to the N on the gear shifter. To select reverse, put your foot on the brake and then push the unlock button again and push forward past the point of resistance again. R will be selected and displayed. You can press the P button on top at any time to put the car in park while the car is stationary. To select reverse from park quicker, all you have to do is press the brake down, push the button on the side and push forward as far forward as you can in one motion. To select drive from park, hold down the brake, press the button on the side and pull once towards you. Then you will be in drive, which is D. When you are in drive, you can go to sports mode by shifting the lever to the left. This will highlight the MS button. On the display though, you will see the letters DS for drive sport. To put the car into manual mode, make sure the lever is in the MS position. If you push the lever forward or pull it backwards, it will put the car into manual mode. Pushing forward will change the car down a gear and pull the lever back and the car will change up a gear. You can see what gear you're in by looking at the display. You will see the letter M for manual, along with a number ranging from 
1 to 8, as this car here has an 8 speed ZF gearbox. There are various versions of the ZF 8 HP gearbox, which are fitted across the whole BMW range, but it made its first appearance with the epic F01 BMW 760Li, which has the big V12. Other manufacturers use the ZF8 HP gearbox too, and each gearbox is specially made for each power output. You can see them in cheaper brands like Kreuzer and Dodge, going all the way up to Rolls-Royce, Aston Martin and Bentley. Anyway, if you press the P position when in manual or sports mode, the lever will head back to the right hand side by itself, as shown. I love this little touch. This car also has a cool safety feature. If you leave the car in gear, open the door and take your foot off the brake, the car will automatically secure the vehicle by putting the car into park by itself. I hope this video has been of some use to you, especially for you Matilda Ivanova. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more BNW 1 series videos along with in-depth tours of other cars. Thank you so much for watching this video and take care. Goodbye.